This is Twit. All right, Andy, do you want to kick off uh, with your pick of the week? Uh, sure. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> sure? we were when, when I was first talking about the uh, 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 the coming iPhone 6 Plus, I was excited about having like a pocketable keyboard and like writing solution because it was such a nice big screen. Uh, and a listener, I, I talked about the a stowaway keyboard that a company called Think Outside used to make for the previous generation of PDAs and Blackberries and Trios about 10 years ago. Uh, I'm looking for something like that. Uh, and actually, a listener, let me use Crane Cam 3000, the future of video podcasting. Uh, this is uh, the an actual stowaway keyboard that a listener happened to have rattling around in his office and was nice enough to send me. Uh, and you see this compared to the size of the iPhone 6, <laughs> and you can understand why this is such a really desirable thing. Uh, I also encountered, however, a company called Lapworks that has this keyboard. Now, again, here's the original vintage one, and here is the Lapworks version of this uh, folding keyboard. They call it the Amigo, and let me show you why I was so excited about it. It's about this size, but then you do this, and Ooh. then you do this, Ooh. and do this. And what? now you have a full laptop-sized keyboard. It's a transformer. Full, like, exactly. It's brilliant. It hooks up via Bluetooth. Uh, it comes with a little, like, uh, tiny little OEM stand like this. And so you put your iPhone or iPad or whatever on this. Of course, not just for the iPhone, but it's for anything else. Uh, and when you're done with it, you just simply do this, do that, do this. And you have to be a little bit careful with it. And then it comes back in this tiny little easily digestible package and there is your writing kit uh for the entire day uh i have i have i've had this for about a week i've been typing with it you can actually get real good touch type on it uh so i'm very very pleased with it and it seems to be absolutely identical to this vintage one only you don't have the you know the pocket pc and palm os uh, keyboard shortcuts on it uh and it's really really wonderful stuff the only there are only two drawbacks to it Number one, this is a rechargeable Bluetooth keyboard, which is good, but it uses, I don't know if you can see it, a very, very oddball, like old-fashioned style USB connector uh, for charging. So you're going to have to make sure you don't lose track of the key, of the cable, the charging cable that it comes with, because if you lose it, you can find another one online, but you're not going to find it easy, as easily as you're going to be able to find uh, a, uh, a uh, micro USB cable. The second thing is that uh, as you fold it and unfold it, uh, it's possible if, if, and before you get it broken in that this is going to have a little bit of flex left into it. And so it might like bend a little bit as you type it, uh, but it settles down the more you use it. You can see me typing on this right now or fake typing upside down on it right now. And it's perfectly comfortable to type on, even if it does have a little bit of a flex in it when you first use it. I, I, I usually have like a, a cleaning, a, a screen cleaning cloth that's in my kit. If you put any kind of a cloth underneath it, that's just enough to dampen that and make it perfectly typable. Uh, there is a third possible drawback to this uh, in that this is not cheap. It goes for $140. Uh, but if there is another keyboard that does what this does uh, and makes as beautiful a typing experience in such a small package, I haven't found it yet. There's a company called, uh, uh, called uh, they're making a keyboard called Giorno that was funded on Kickstarter about a year and a half ago. Uh, as many Kickstarter hardware projects go, they have blown through shipping deadlines as they, you know, take this idea that they had for a keyboard and try to make it into a shipping product. Uh, and so now they're promising delivery in October. Who knows? If they do ship, it'll be 79 bucks. It might be interesting to check out. But for now, if you really want that kind of ultra portability, whether you've got you know, an iPhone 5S or if you're just using a, a Mac, uh, a, an iPad mini, uh, boy, there is nothing like this. And this is exactly what I was sort of looking for. So... I love it. 3, 140, which is, yeah, if you look at Lapworks uh, website, that's apparently the sale price. The price is normally $150. That's pretty steep. But again, if it's a if it's a better experience on something that you're going to be typing with and you like being mobile and like uh, c connecting it to various devices, it certainly does yeah. seem nice. And it's, it folds up. It, it, I mean, I... Yeah, I mean, unfolding this is, it and folding back up is part of the fun. This is sure. this is it's almost it's almost magical the way it works. And like it's like I'm saying, I mean, the, it's, this may may not be for everybody, but a lot of people really do like to travel with minimal uh, loadout and stuff. Sure. And if you think about going on vacation and you don't want to take a laptop, well, how about just take your Mac, mini, your iPad Mini, and take this, and now you're good. And you can put this in just just a little day bag that you use to walk around the, around, around town in. For me, I've always had this dream of either being so incredibly wealthy that I can simply 
board an airplane carrying nothing but the clothes on my back and just buy what I need when I get there and then throw it all away when I board the plane home or having uh, equipment that's small enough that I can actually board with just the tiny, tiny little bags. And this is, this is, this is a good step towards that. Again, not cheap, but if that's what your goal is uh, and you travel enough like that, then it might sure. even be worth it. Or you're in a s situation where it's just, it doesn't make sense to have a whole laptop. I mean, I, I'm probably yeah. the only person who spends four hours at a time at the hair salon, but that actually happened last Friday and I had work to do. And so what ends up happening is there's a lot of cutting and pasting on my iPad because that's really the only <laughs> thing that's comfortable enough to have kind of it in my lap. But, but it sucks. I, that's not yeah. ideal at all. The laptop was just a little bit too much. The hairdresser would have been annoyed. So <laughs> if I had something like this, it would have been the perfect situation. Yeah. One, one, one last note, though, now that you bring it up. Of course, it, it has a folding hinge in the middle of it, so you have to have it on a flat, stable surface in order to use it. If you try to just bridge it across your lap, it will just simply collapse like a ah, poorly constructed right. bridge. Uh, so do you need a hard surface in order for it to work. That's the only qual qualm about it. All right. Lapworks Amigo Folding Keyboard, $140. It might be the perfect uh, accessory for you.